Kiran Chandu from uh, Government Medical College Surat, and uh, I am a second year radiology resident. I am presenting a paper on role of high resolution ultrasonography in diagnosis of scrotal pathologies. So, scrotal pathology is very common in both adults and children with causes that can range from benign conditions that require minimal interventions to serious cases that require immediate medical attention and surgical interventions. This, uh, diagnosing these conditions uh, is uh, challenging because of the non specific clinical presentation, discomfort, or swelling, which hampers the thorough clinical examination. Imaging modalities, particularly ultrasonography and color doctor, have become invaluable tools for such accurate diagnosis. Um, high resolution ultrasonography enables the Detailed visualization of scrotal contents and has uh, revolutionized the diagnosis like of conditions like torsion and infections, tumors, varicoceles. Uh, color doctor flow also enhances the diagnostic accuracy by evaluating blood flow and distinguishing between the malignant lesion and uh, reducing the unnecessary intervention, surgical interventions. Color doctor is highly effective assessing acute scrotal pain, accurate diagnosing conditions like epidermal orchitis, torsion, and varicose. It is also critical for differentiating malignant from benign tumors. And uh, high resolution ultrasonography is useful in distinguishing between intratesticular and extratesticular regions. Intratesticular regions tend to be cancerous, while the extratesticular ones are more likely to be benign. Acute uh, epidemic work is more free, uh, most uh, frequent uh, DD of torsion of the testis. Color Doppler lessens the frequency of needless surgical intervention by detecting enhanced flow in case of color flow imaging. About 30% uh, of uh, male infertile individuals have varicocele, which is the uh, most easily treatable cause, and most common testicular neoplasms constitute uh, approximately 1 to 2% of all male cancers and rate fifth in the term of all cause mortality for men between age 15 and 34. The aims of this study was to evaluate the spectrum of uh, USC findings in various scrotal pathologies and to evaluate the role of color doppler in distinguishing and characterizing the morphology and blood flow in scrotal pathologies. It also assesses the role of uh, USC to distinguish between testicular and extratesticular masses. And to differentiate uh, acute conditions, acute surgical conditions. In the first image over here, you can see the grayscale and color doppler images, wherein the epidermis appears uh, bulky and heterogeneous in eco texture, and it shows increased vasculature and color doppler flow, which is, shows epidermitis. And in case uh, hypochondria is present over there, it uh, denotes the abscess development. In the second image, you can see the grayscale image and the color doppler image, where wherein uh, uh, we are seeing increased color flow, on, uh, which in indicates uh, orchitis, which is uh, usually caused by paramyxovirus, which causes for mumps, and uh, the diffuse involvement of the testis, is bulky and edematous and with increased vascularity. The first image over here, you can see a color doctor image and a uh, grayscale image wherein the right test appears normal, normal vascularity, while the left test shows uh, it appears bulky with uh, no vascularity on color doctor flow. This is a image of torsion of a testis, which is seen in a bell type or most common bell type deformity. The length and duration of the torsion determines whether the uh, testis would be salvageable or not. Uh, in case of early surgical interventions, the vascularity returns and the testis becomes salvageable and uh, usually bilateral orthodopexy needs to be done because the deformity, bell type deformity, is usually present bilaterally. So, even if one testis is affected, bilateral surgery needs to be done. Uh, in the second image, you can see diffuse edema of the scrotal wall and increased uh, vascularity. It, uh, it is an image of the cellulitis of the scrotal wall, wherein the testis is not enlarged, just the wall is affected. Here in the first image, this uh, the image indicates the funiculitis, where the spermatic cord appears uh, bulky, it is edematous and uh, shows a hyper on color doctor uh, analysis. And equal tubular structures are the vessels which are traversing in the first image over here. Image over here you can see vasitis, which is the inflammation of the vas deferens. It usually accompanies uh, funiculitis and as a result of uh, retrograde infection, which uh, passes up from the seminal cycle of prostate. The next image, first image, you can see well circumscribed any equation which shows a posterior acoustic uh, enhancement. It is an epidermal cyst and it has no vascularity on color doctor imaging. Uh, in the second image, you can see a well-defined lesion which is uh, which has a lamellated appearance. Uh, it is non-vascular and uh, usually most common benign mass. It is an epidermoid, intratestical epidermoid. Here in uh, the uh, keratin content uh, is very high, so it is also known as keratocyst. And usually a enucleation uh, suffices for as per uh, as for surgery is concerned. The next image you can see a pericocele, which is the grayscale color doctor imaging of anechoic tubular structures, dilated anechoic tubular structures. And on clinical examination, it's a bag of worm appearance. Usually, the varicocele is a common thing on the uh, left side because the left uh, testicular vein drains into the renal vein and is uh, at 90 degree angle. If uh, it is uh, it is seen on the right side as uh, in solitary, then it should raise a suspicion of uh, intra-abdominal mass. Other systemic conditions like liver stresses can also lead to varicocele. It is a most common cause of uh, male infertility. Uh, then the second uh, image here you can see a uh, spermatocele. The lower image over here you can see a spermatocele, uh, which is due to the uh, dilation of the different uh, tubules. So it is also looks like a epidermal cyst, but uh, it is usually large and uh, has uh, echoes within it. Image over here you can see in the second image we can see tunica vaginal hydrocele, which is the collection of serous fluid between uh, placental and parietal layers. Uh, the ecogenicity echoes can be present within it, it depends on the cholesterol or uh, crystal contents. And in case of a patent uh, process of vaginalis, uh, we can have a we can have a congenital hydrocele. And the first image is an image of a scrotolith where you know, multiple tiny ecogenic foci are scattered through the scrotal parenchyma. They are intratubular uh, calcific foci, which are uh, which present like this. 
The second image is of that of a scrotolith. Here we can see uh, an ecogenic uh, focus which was record shadowing, which is mobile in the scrotum, present uh, extra testicular intrascrotally. It is uh, most uh, can be uh, seen post in, in post inflammatory condition. It is also known as scrotal pearl or scrotal calculus. Uh, here in the first image, we can see a uh, uh, adenomatoid tumor of the epidermis tail, wherein a heterogeneous ecotextual lesion with evidence of vascularity, minovascularity is seen uh, in the tail of the epidermis. It is a uh, is the most uh, common type of tumor, benign tumor, noted in the epidermis. And the last image, we can see a heterogeneous ecotextual lesion with vascularity noted in the testis. It is a testicular uh, cancer carcinoma. Uh, it can be again divided into semino germ cell tumor and non germ cell tumor, which are further divided germ cell tumor further divided into seminomatous germ cell tumor and non seminomatous germ cell tumor. With the seminomatous ones having a fairly good response to radiotherapy. So here we can see that the USG has a high sensitivity and specificity when combining color Doppler for detecting abnormalities in the testis epidermis spermatic cord. As compared to other uh, investigations like uh, CT, MRI, and scintigraphy of uh, testis, in CT, CT is in a uh, uses ionizing radiation. Therefore, it certainly isn't a good investigation of choice when uh, looking for a gonadal uh, region uh, because the gonads are very sensitive to the radiation. Although it can be used for detecting retroperitoneal spread, uh, spread of the uh, metastasis. MRI again uh, is a good modality, but uh, it is a time consuming modality and also the um, around uh, for 45 minutes can be taken up to, uh, for the examination, which uh, wherein the patient uh, motion artifact can affect the images. Although it does provide better images uh, with the whole inguinal scrotal region in uh, one uh, frame, we can see the scintigraphy does, uh, does provide a good uh, does provide a good uh, view of the uh, blood blood flow blood flow yet uh, the spatial uh, the anatomical resolution isn't very good. The testicular evaluation has lower sensitivity compared to epidermis and spermatic cord, while USC is highly particularly uh, reliable for epidermis and spermatic cord, while the near perfect performance. High result ultrasonography with color doctor helps the, in the accurate evaluation of morphological alteration in inflammation and is highly sensitive for diagnosis of scrotal pathologies. Also, color doppler uh, differentiates these, uh, acute surgical conditions from acute inflammatory conditions in scrotal diseases. It is a sensitive for differentiation of a testicle from extra testicular scrotal pathologies and differentiates scrotal wall uh, swellings into neoplastic and non-neoplastic scrotal pathologies. It is more sensitive than the clinical examination in case of large hydrocele where testis and epidermis can be easily demonstrated along with ecotextual vascularity. Highly sensitive in diagnosis of varicocele and subclinical cases can also be diagnosed. So here we can see that the ultrasonography is a non-invasive, easily available, relatively cheap, rapid, repeatable, and it involves no radiation. Therefore, it is an accurate uh, diagnostic imaging modality suitable for uh, both the diagnosis and follow-up of various scrotal pathologies. So we can conclude uh, safely that uh, high-risk ultrasonography is the first line, uh, uh, first line modality that to be used in patients with presenting in, with the scrotal pathologies, and that too, when it is combined with color doppler, it is the gold standard investigation for accurate diagnosis and characterization of scrotal pathologies. Ultrasonography is a non-invasive, easily available, relatively cheap, rapid, 